each institution, while they might all be called an ICA or might be all called a contemporary museum, is really rather unique. The idea that the ICA is free admission is extraordinarily valuable to the community. Museums have become, almost by default, one of the last places in society where the general public comes in a state of open-minded curiosity. It's a place of wonder and questioning and discovery, civic togetherness. It's a place also where we come together expecting to see something that will challenge us. There are really no other places in our society where we have that kind of open space. We could call it a democratic space. If anywhere in the world, museums and the art world are definitely the place that we can give voice to some of the undercurrents and some of the, you know, lesser expressed ideas that are just as important as all the, the loud noise that we hear every day. An Institute of Contemporary Art is an institution that is incredibly important because it becomes the place where new ideas can emerge, brought out into the open where they flourish, where they can be discussed. It should be this kind of open environment where, where all kinds of things are possible. There's an opportunity here to be a very different kind of institution that is, that is open, that can become a part of everyone's lives. I want that future where an institution can amplify the good it could do. It can offer real vision for what art could be. Exhibition and programming that really, really change the way they see themselves in the world. As people that work in our institutions, we have to be cognizant of how things are progressing, how things are changing, and that there is a whole population of people who will need to know what a museum is and need to feel as if a museum is a space that they can call their own. 